Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your full moon reading for the sun moon and the rising sign of Leo. Leo, please keep in mind that this is your general reading for the full moon and this reading is valid from now till next full moon. The effect is going to be there. The reading uh, nuances is going to be there. The guidance is going to be there for at least one month. And this is a general reading. So please pick it up what resonates with you. Please leave the rest for others. And you know very well that my email ID is mentioned in the description box below. If you wish to connect with me for any personal private reading. And I always request all of you to please... Uh, if you really like what I do, please do like, subscribe the channel and put on the notifications. Now, on this full moon, I wanted to give you a few remedies for a better quality life. So I have uh, these three messages from my angel communication. And these are three messages, one, two and three. So at the end of the video, I will be disclosing the remedy inside these numbers. And with each number, I'm going to give you a remedy along with the angel specific number. So you can think about the number right now in the beginning of the video. Uh, you can choose one, two or three. And at the end of the video, I'm going to share the remedy with you uh, for the number you have chosen and the specific angel message card as well. Okay, now let us move towards your reading. Sun, Moon and Rising Leo. What do we need to know for you? What do we need to know for you? What do we need to know for you? Sun, Moon and Rising Leo. We have Balance, Spirituality and Practicality. Okay. And the other message is Take time to breathe out. Okay, and the other message is, and the third message is, step out of your comfort zone. Okay, now let me see what are the energies on this full moon, sun, moon and rising Leo. Okay, you have rest and rejuvenation. And I wanted to pull one more. It is Angel of Balance. Look at this. Leo, the, the theme of the complete reading is you need to acquire balance. Balance between your emotions. Balance between your mental thought process. Balance between your wisdom, knowledge, the spiritual awareness and the practicality of life. I'll just explain this to you in a moment. And, you know, uh, in other readings, I'm generally pulling only one energy card. But in your reading, I was compelled to pull one more. That means this balance is utmost required at this point of time in your life. Okay. Now, let me see what Tarot has to tell you. Sun, Moon and Rising. Leo. Sun, Moon and Rising. Leo, what do we need to know? It is Nine of Cups. It is Eight of Pentacles. Powerful, lovely reading you have. And it is Wheel of Fortune. You have a very good reading, I must tell you. Okay. Now, in your Moonology, your first card is Balance, Spirituality and Practicality. This is Full Moon in Pisces. I was telling Pisces. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Now, this means that there are aspects in your practical life, in your money, in your career, in your finances, where you're getting emotional and you are mixing your expectations into it. Now, when I say this, I do not mean that you do not have an expectations from your professional life or from your practical life. What I am telling you is that you're mixing your personal, you know, maybe not so rational or not so practical aspects in your money, career and finances. That is why the angels are reinforcing this message this time that Leo, it's high time that you be very, very practical and very, very rational, logical in all your money, career and finances. And at the same time, you know, you have a balance with your emotions and spirituality when you're mixing this with your practical life. 
So a complete balance of thought process is very, very important at this point of time in your life, Leo. Then you also have, I'm sorry, I didn't look at this card before. Look at your cards. Your two cards are talking about the same thing. The angel message of angel of balance and the balance spirituality and practically both the cards are talking about the much needed balance in your life and post this you have two cards which again have the same meaning it has take time to breathe out and the other energy card is rest and rejuvenation this means it's time for you to withdraw from the drama of life in the sense if you feel that you, have, you were falling into politics, arguments, disagreements, quarrel in the recent past, it's your time to take rest. It's your time to take a backseat. Also, if you feel that since so many months you're just struggling, trying hard, so much of doing hard work, pressure and everything, it's time for you to take little rest and have a balanced mind, body and soul. Take some time break from your work. Go up for an outing. Go for a gateway. It's time for you to give that mental peace to your mind, body and soul. So for that it is said that you need to have rest and rejuvenation. And it's time for you to take a break. If you feel you have done enough in the past. Maybe it's a struggle. Maybe maybe it is. it was a struggle. Or maybe it was over hard work you have done. Maybe for any of your things. But it's time for you to take a small break for sure. Step out of your comfort zone. I'm sensing that from now, when you're moving on to new things in life, it's very important for you to move out of your comfort zone. Something, uh, you know, uh, you are open of moving, but then, uh, you know, you are not completely open. Whether it's moving out of your place, out of your country or out of that current job or out of that current business. If you feel that something is holding you back, if you feel something, you know, if you feel that I want to fly again in my life, it's time for you to live up to your dreams and what you wish to have in life. But you have to step out of your comfort zone for sure. And if I see your tarot reading, you have nine of cups, you have eight of pentacles and you have wheel of fortune. There is a high possibility of a wish fulfillment with nine of cups. You are very near to a wish fulfillment. And with eight of pentacles, you are definitely going to expand professionally. It's also time for you to upskill, learn new things. You can go out of your town or out of your uh, you know, current place for a better role, better responsibility with better money for sure. And you have a major arcana in this full moon. And this is a very powerful changing card. Your time is changing. It's a positive shift of time. It's a wheel which is moving into your favor. And this is known as wheel of fortune. That means the wheel is moving into your destiny to offer fortune to you, to offer abundance, growth, prosperity, expansion to you. And look at this, the tarot. You have got a great tarot card combination today. You have nine of cups of wish fulfillment. Then you have an expansion card of growth and knowledge and wisdom. And you have wheel of fortune. That means the time which is changing is going to give you great, great things from now for sure. Now, let me see the messages for angel number one. And let me read out the message for you. Now, people who have opted for number one, I'm reading out your specific remedy. And the remedy is burn a bay leaf every full moon for a wish fulfillment. You have to burn a bay leaf every full moon till the time you feel that your wish is not granted. And let me show you a bay leaf. I'm sure you people are aware about bay leaf. It is easily available at any grocery store or otherwise or a herb shop. And you can write whatever you want to write. You have to be very, very specific. You know, if you have four to five priorities, just see what one priority or, or out of those priority, which is your topmost priority of or your wish. So that, that you can precisely mention here with your name. You can also make some dollar signs here if you want. And you can keep and you can burn this bay leaf on every full moon when you can lit a candle and then you can throw the ashes. 
So this is the way you can burn, keep a bay leaf or you can burn a bay leaf on every full moon and it is really, really going to help you out in your dream fulfillment. Now let me see what is the angel message for people who have opted for number one. People who have opted for number one. And the message is, listen to your intuition. It's time to listen to your dream, to, you know, to remember your dream. Dreams are telling you a lot of things these days. Trust your intuition. Don't second guess what is coming to your mind, what is coming to your thoughts. Start trusting your intuition much more than any other time. What a great message for people who opted for number one. Now let me move to number two and let me see what is the remedy for number two, people who have opted for number two. Okay. And the message is burning a green candle for money and pink for relationship. Now I have a black candle here. Any green colored candle like this or I also have a pink color candle here. Look at this. Now these are very big sizes, but you can have small sizes candle as well. So burning a green candle for money, abundance, prosperity is really going to help you out if you have opted for number two and a pink candle for improving your personal professional relationship. You can burn it every day for 15 to 20 minutes, either one by one or simultaneously the way you feel like letting it off. And it is up to you that how you want to use this remedy. And the message for people who have opted for number two. Let me pull out your angel card message. Angels and spirits. Angel and spirits. Message for people who have opted for number two. And it is peaceful resolution. So if you are going through any struggle, obstacle or challenges... Please know that there is going to be a peaceful resolution. If you have any question in your mind, there is going to be a peaceful resolution to it and things are going to fall into your favor for sure. Wonderful. Okay, now I am reading the remedy for people who have opted for number three. And the remedy is you need to remove all blockages this full moon. Burn a black candle. It's here. And white candle for path forward. So either you can burn this simultaneously or one by one. Black is a wonderful candle which is being used to remove all blockages, negativity, hexes, negative thoughts. Not only about people around us but even our own thoughts if they are negative. Or if by any chance because of situation or circumstances we are human. We tend to think negative about ourselves even a lot many times. Burn this candle and allow all negativity to vanish. And simultaneously, you can also burn a, you know, a white candle so that you get the path clearance and you welcome all the divine interventions and the way forward. So this was the message for people or the remedy for people who opted for number three. And let me see what is your angel message for people who have opted for number three. Angels and spirit message for people who opted for number three. And the message is, it is, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's the abundance which is going to come to you for sure. It is up to you that how you're welcoming that abundance in your life. Now this makes it even more necessary because you already have an abundance card. So if you are using this black candle to remove all the negativity which is coming in way of your growth, money, career, finances and prosperity, you can definitely. And you know, when you're burning candle, black candle every day, slowly, slowly you remove all small and big negativity or blockages or you know, delays in your professional life. It is really going to help you out for sure. So dear friends, do let me know that how you resonated with the reading and I will see you next time very soon. Be blessed.